DoorDash giving away money to drivers? Are you taking advantage of this? Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to the Computer Guy channel. I am, of course, the Computer Guy, or welcome back. So, for those of you that, that don't know or haven't followed any of the shorts or anything like that, which you should go check out, you should definitely be subscribing and watching those, we have been doing some door dashing. Essentially, there's a new system popping up that is called Earn by Time. Essentially, what that is, paying you hourly for your time dashing. So, we're going to be talking a little bit about the pros and cons by hour, and then we're also going to kind of get into a little bit deeper about, you know, what everybody's here for. Money. What's what is the difference between the two? As a disclaimer, this is only from my experience. This is the stuff that I have done personally, the figures and stuff that I have collected from my dashing. And the first thing we're going to get into in true computer guy fashion is the cons. I like to talk about the cons first. Why? I don't know. I started doing cons first and we're just, that's what we do. The first thing we're going to talk about is they do not show you how much you make for the order that you're picking up. I'm gonna say it's a con only because we wanna make sure that our time is being compensated properly. The next thing that it rolls into, the decline, you do get to decline, you can still decline, but there's a limit to it. They don't want you declining a bunch of stuff. They're expecting you to dash. They, they want you to dash, that's what it is. That they give you at least one decline per hour that you schedule yourself to. Since you can't see the price of the order, I tend to see a bit more times that I get a no tip. I'll show some here. And the last con, as I'm sure most of you DoorDashers know, that yes, the support still sucks. But that's regardless if you're hourly or, or not. So it, it doesn't get any better. All right, so let's flip it on its head. Let's get to the pros. Not really having to worry about dashing in the sense that I, d I don't have to worry about what it is that popped up on my screen. For all intents and purposes, it tells me to fly to the moon, and as long as it gives me GPS coordinates for it, I'll probably do it. Mostly because be compensated for it, which rolls into another pro that essentially because that is not as distracting, I'm a safer driver and I feel like I can take my time and I don't feel like I am rushed. Well, you're more likely to make more mistakes. It's dangerous. You're you're more of a reckless driver when you're trying to rush to get to them. But we want our order quick. That, that's what we're paying you guys for. Yes, we want it quickly. So rush your butt. We'll, we'll get there. We'll, and, and, and I don't mean inevitably we'll get there. I mean that we'll get there relatively quickly because the same point still comes across is the sooner that we can still get it to you guys, the sooner we can pick up our next one, the sooner we can get the next order. And it's still, it's still, it's still the same process. It's just essentially, there's not that added pressure of if you know what it is, you know that this price is worth your time. And if it's a pretty good price, then you're going to make sure all the best is going to get there whereas per hour you're not going to you're not going to see that so essentially that means that you need to treat each order as though you're going to get a really good tip go ahead tell them. go ahead and tell them. go ahead and tell them. and of course the last pro is the money is it's good it's pretty good. Let's get to the, the money. Talk, talk, show me the money. We're, we're getting to that. That's, that's the next part. Your mileage may vary. I pay a little bit more attention to the active hours, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of other people talk about the active hours. So essentially the differences between the two times is the active hours is essentially the hours that you are actively going to a place to pick it up, to deliver it, and then finish the delivery. That's your active time. The dashing time is essentially when you hit the dash now and encompassing the active time as well as there might be, you might have gone just outside of your range of the area that you're dashing in. So you may have to drive back. So there's there's that time as well. So December 2nd, we made $107.25. That was for four hours and 22 minutes. So roughly 24, 54 an hour. We made 63, 63 for 2.23 hours, two hours for about 28, 48. I think I'm pretty sure that that was my best night per order. That was the best night. My best two weeks. So we're going to go by week because that's how they break it down as well. One of them was 8.89.31 for 
34 hours and 24 minutes. 25.85 an hour. The best week that I had was 950.47 at 37 hours and 13 minutes. That averaged actually a little less, which was 25.60. What we're kind of seeing is that I'm floating right at about that 25 mark. The first week I did this, I had already broke 1K for the week. That was $1,005.90, 34 hours and 23 minutes. And essentially, if we, we do the math, we come out to about $29.26 an hour. The next highest week, 809 for 28 hours and 38 minutes. And that's still $28.26 an hour. Essentially, what a lot of this boils down to, and what got me thinking about this, was I did my best one, that one we were talking about, that the 63.50 in two hours that technically that night is better than my whole average is for this this last week but i would rather make the whole week an average of you know a quarter less than <laughs> have one good night you know in the grand scheme of things so i'm just giving you guys the information you do not have to do the hourly if you don't want to the nice thing about the hourly is that it puts a lot more places back on the table. I know I've done a short talking about staying away from chicken places. And as you probably saw with the zero tip pictures that pretty much all of them came from chicken places. So I still kind of stand by the, if you, if you want to avoid the chicken places, that's probably still not a bad idea. Even though I'm still getting those, those zero tips and stuff, the proof is in the pudding, as they say, you know, that I'm still making more overall for me personally i am going to probably keep doing this i might do uh next month i might do another week or so of going back to see if it's changed any if maybe enough people have done the hourly stuff that maybe the per orders kind of balancing out and everything's now balancing out we'll see um lee obviously subscribe so you can see if that that has become relevant Make sure you hit that thumbs up to let me know. Hey, you do want to you do want to see an updated video of that? And as always, guys, I appreciate your faces, and I want you guys to continue to stay safe and stay charged. We'll see you next time.